What's up guys and welcome to Skyrim, or more specifically, Valskar. This is a mod made by Alexander Veliki. Now, exactly what is Valskar? It's a game, or a part of Skyrim, that's not actually like in Skyrim. You go into a different world and you play a different campaign, basically. And since Skyrim's a little older now, and so many people have done it, I thought it'd be cool to do Valskar. Since so many, uh, not so many, but quite a few people have asked me to do Skyrim content in the past, and I would have loved to if not so many people already did it, to the point where I don't think there's anything I could have added to the game. I wanted to do something Skyrim related, and I feel like this is it. This mod has about 20 to 30 hours of gameplay content, with 9 main story quests and 17 side quests in it. So there's a lot of content that I could go over in this game, and depending on what you guys really want, I could do. I could just do the nine main quests, or I could do all the side quests as well, depending on how interested you guys are. But with that being said, let's hop in. To get to Fosco, we actually had to start Skyrim normally at first, as you see me speeding through the tutorial everyone has seen a million times by now. Didn't really want you guys to see this, you know, from beginning to end, because I'm sure you have about, you know, a kajillion times, so that must be annoying. So I'm going to speed it up here while I talk about it. We um, go through this, and we are actually going to head over to Whiterun once we are finished with our tutorials. I decide to go with a Khajiit with a name only a champion could truly have. And then, of course, I just make my way through the tutorial, everything happens as normal. The dragon attacks, you go into this dungeon, I pick out my weapon slot, which is going to be, you know, my flame in my left hand, and then my, uh, my, uh, axe in my right hand, and that's sort of how I like to do things, like to dual wield and get that, like, action on melee kind of rhythm going. That's personally how I really like to play the game. I'm also more of a thief kind of person, I like to go around and pickpocket and steal things. It's just sort of my way to play, and it sort of fits the Khajiit playstyle. But yes, this tutorial is just like every other tutorial for Skyrim you've ever played. So don't expect it to be any different, the mod doesn't affect anything in the Skyrim main game at all. And of course I have to show off this amazing kill shot I got off in the bear. I'm just the most pro player in every game ever. It's just unavoidable that I'm the best. It's probably programmed to happen anyways. So finally, back to the live commentary after we finish all of those tutorial quests. If you actually make your way out of the tutorial cave and, you know, where the dragon flies out and everything, you can make your way straight to Whiterun. You don't have to talk to anyone. I haven't even made my way into the Whiterun castle. I'm just going to go up to this dude and talk to him. He, uh, We want to talk to this guy so that he can bring us to Riften. This is where our real quest will start. And if you're worried, don't worry about being underleveled for this whole mod. The mod will adapt to whatever level you are, just like Skyrim does. Okay, we've finally made our way into Riften, and we're gonna just make our way into the city here. Hold there. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. What's the tax for? The privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? Eh, this is a shakedown. Keep your voice down. You want everyone to hear you? I'll let you in. Just let me unlock the gate. Okay, so he's gonna let us into Riften here, and that's gonna be pretty great. Riften, not the best of towns, but we don't have to worry about that. You can head inside when you're ready. Home of the thieves' game. Fine. If you won't listen to me, I'll find someone who will. Whoa, and here's whoa, whoa. our subject. What's the magic? Yes. Yalamar. Is this guy alright? Huh? Uh, well, not really. What's up? Well, I was taking an evening walk like I always do, and I saw some men outside the Echo Deep Mine. I just don't want to. The thing is, they look like mercenaries, up to no good. Now, I've never seen them around here, and they look real tough. In addition, the Echo Deep Mines are not a place people go. There are myths about it. So what's the problem? Let's get to the chase. On my way back from my walk, I passed mine entrance again. I heard all sorts of horrific noises. I reckon something happened to those men. 
Anyone going to those mines is up to no good. Now, I've asked a guard to take a look, but they just ignore me. I need someone to see what's happened. Would you go look for me? Please, if they're planning something, the city guard needs to know. Please, go check for me. Alright, if it means that much to him. Fine, Ooh. but you'll regret it if they burn down the city. Or whatever they have planned, it's not good. Oh man, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to say yes. Here, come back, come back. Uh, yeah? Are you willing to take a look in the mine? It will take you only a moment, and you can see at least what happened to them. Or what they're up to. Finally, thank you. I'll mark it down on your map. Uh, just be careful. Uh, we still don't know what's in there. Well, I guess we'll find out now, won't we? Let's go into the Echo Deep Mines. Echo Deep Mines should just be a really short trip right over here. There might even be a bit of a path. Yeah, right over here there's a path. We can take this, pull out our weapons, just in case something runs into us that might want to kill us. Doubt there will be, though. Not sure if there's actually a direct path over to it. Let's take this down here. Oh, <laughs> that hurt me. But yeah, I'm really excited to get into this. The land of Fosgar is quite amazing and interesting looking. And there's a lot of fun quests in there. I've played it a bit. It's really fun, and I can't wait to get into it. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this too, because I'll make a lot of content on this if you guys are enjoying it. But it all depends on you guys, really. I think this is where we need to go, right over here. Like a fox. Hello, Mr. Fox. Yeah, right over here, into the mines. Looks like the fox is leading me on. Thank you. And here we are. Nice door. Echo Deep Mines discovered. I thought this would be a good way to hype the upcoming MMO of uh, Sky or of Elder Scrolls, even though it doesn't come out until like 2015. I thought this would be cool to do. Might be somebody in here we might want to be careful. Haha, <laughs> there's somebody. Oh, get him. But I'm doing pretty good, as you can see. It isn't that hard. These guys are pretty easy to kill. Bandits. Let's see what he has. Do want to pick up as much as I can. Trying to get as much cash as I can because some cash in the round of Far Scar is just as helpful as land or cash in the land of Skyrim. Of course, I can use it to buy things, and I'm going to be looking to buy quite a few things right off the bat when we get into into there. Alright, somebody over there, but let me check out this chest first. What's in here? Some gold and a potion. Not that much, but it'll be worth it. And pick up these coins. Once once again, I'm trying to get as rich as possible before we even get into the land. It would be helpful. <laughs> before you could even hit me. Really, this isn't that hard. Maybe it's like I have an easier setting. I'm not sure. I think it's on apprentice mode. The difficulty. I might have to check here in a little bit, just to check. Let's see. Settings, uh, gameplay, apprentice. Okay, now, of course goes down to novice. Apprentice isn't that hard, but it isn't that easy. It'll get harder later on as we keep on playing. But this game, I meant the, the mod, <laughs> excuse me, has been really, really great. I haven't ran into any glitches or problems. Everything has been smooth as the actual Skyrim campaign. And that is really surprising. Okay, let's knock these guys over and what does he have? A lot of good stuff. Anyone else want to fight me? It doesn't look like it. What's up here? A sword. Still gonna keep with this dual wielding because it worked really well for me. It's something I enjoy doing. Ooh, here comes another one. Just a bunch of bandits, really. Not as scary as the guy who we talked to, Jamal, or whatever his name was, Jalmar. He made it seem to be really scary and like evil monsters. No, there's just these weak bandits and really can't do that much to hurt us. Ooh, a chest. And of course, this is a lock picking. What do we get? Uh, just some gold. 61 gold, not bad. We should be making our way to a thousand gold now, right? Well, that's 670, because I did sell everything I made in the tutorial or got in the tutorial. You want to make sure you do that if you really want some good cash coming into here. Ooh, can I go in here? No. Looks like we're going to keep on going this way. What was that? Oh, jeez. Yeah, out of here, bandit. Fly. 
When I think of bandits, I don't really think of these guys, though. Ooh, we got a level up. We're finally level two. Before we even get into Fosco itself, it's gonna be cool, though. It's gonna be helpful. You can walk into here with the zero devils and still be fine, though. It's made so that you can do that, or you can be crazy over leveled and do it. Is that everyone? No, it looks like there's somebody else running up. Yet another easy person to kill with my magic. Take all that. Okay, level up. Now, since I've been using a ton of fire, I'm gonna pick up my magic. That'll help me. And then, of course, go into the destruction here, get our first point into novice destruction. Seems pretty cool. Looks like somebody was having a nice meal. Not anymore. <laughs> Because I killed them, of course. I would move the plate, but it's not letting me. So I'll just, uh, I'll leave it. I'll burn it. Make sure it's already cooked. Alright, it doesn't look like there's anything else to find, anything else to loot. This is one of my favorite things to do in Skyrim, is to loot things. There's no one else down here? Let's make our way over here. Oh, there's nothing in here. This is a dead end. Guess we gotta make our way over here. Well, if you guys really aren't into Skyrim, though, don't worry, I have more Yoshi's Island and more content coming up within the next month. Ooh, another bandit. Once again, really easy. easy. Oh, for a second there, I thought I was the one who died. That was weird. Pick up everything he has and then fight this guy. Ooh. Oh, this is the bandit chief. You might want to be careful. I'm going to quick save. Quick saving is something I have a habit of doing a lot. Hopefully this guy won't be that hard. Just knock him off. There you go. And then flame him. He's just gonna stand there and take it? You know, I have no hard problem with it. Ha! <laughs> awesome. I right, have anything. He has a lot of iron armor. I'm gonna be over encumbered now. So I might wanna find some things to drop. Like fur and these. And all of these. Because they're not really worth that much. And these. There we go. And I'm back to being encumbered. All right. No, apparently not. Okay, now I can. Awesome. But yes, I also have other content coming up within the next few months or so. Got PlayStation 3 coming back up, you guys who are PlayStation 3 fans, which is most of you. Um, don't worry. I got more stuff coming. Let's see what the Bandit Chief has to say. What he's written here in his journal. Okay, so some interesting stuff about this, uh area we're in right now. A very literate person, this bandit chief. What do we got in here? We got not really anything I'm interested in. What about this satchel? Got some lockpicks. Like a version of magic. And I'm over encumbered again. This can get annoying. Drop that. Okay, let's make our way out of here. Ooh! <laughs> More things. Um, ooh. Iron great sort of embers. Garnet. Scroll of dead zombie and a necklace. I don't really need that. I'm gonna pick it up and maybe just drop um a sword that isn't enchanted. Or maybe just a hunting ball. And all my daggers. There we go, there we go. Okay, that's not that hard. Probably shouldn't have to shift through my inventory for anything else. So I think that's it. Let's make our way down the spiraling on the staircase thing. What else will we find? It's starting to get a little more spooky as we keep on getting deeper and hopefully don't run into anything like a spider or nothing. That would be horrifying. I hate the spiders in this game. Almost as much as the mud crabs. Ooh, a big door. The musb van. <laughs> Pretty sure that's how you say it. Okay, this is really looking spooky now. It's like nobody's been in here for years. What can we find? Some good stuff, nice potions. Really like collecting potions, they're always helpful to have. Just making sure I see everything, get everything I can. I'm the kind of person who really wants to loot everything, get everything, the max amount of everything, from anything. What's in here? Not much more hallways. What's going on? Oh my god, what is that? Oh jeez, it's a Dwarven Centurion. This thing is strong. I'm not doing much to it. I already lost a lot of health. 
Where are my potions? Where are my potions? There you go, there you go. Oh god, this guy is huge! Look at him! I'm gonna just show him who's boss. Ah! Boom! Right in the crotch. And he's down. Done for the count. One goes to Nimmon Quickie, and none for the robot. Alright, let's get a garnet. I don't really want all these big heavy pieces. They're not really worth much. Ah, man. Looks like he slaughtered quite a few people. I don't know how I killed him so easy then. Ooh, the ancient lexicon in the mercenaries journal. We might want to read this. Let's check this out. Mm hmm. Okay, so it looks like whatever they were doing in here, they're trying to get something to work. Maybe they're trying to make their way to Fosgar too. It's over here. Anything interesting? Not looking like it. Okay. Well. Activate the pedestal. Whoa. Whoa. This is more like Portal than a Skyrim now. Those little effects. What's happening? Whoa. Figuring out what Lysicon does. Travel through the gate. Whoa. So is this a portal to Fosgar? Whoa. Okay. We just walked through it. Okay. Cool.